Welcome to simpleroptions.com. My name is Don Kaufman and uh, I'm going to give you a trade here on this weekend coming into the trading week of August 3rd. That's right, it's August already and this evening we're going to be looking at uh, one trade and one trade only. I'm actually looking at the XHB. If you're not familiar with it, that is the Spiders Home Builders ETF. Again, the Spiders Home Builders ETF over there. And one of the things I like to do as a trader, okay, from time to time, is I like to set up big time contrarian style positions. And I looked at the XHB over here, and this is uh, a monumental breakout to the uh, to the upside. But I am ever the contrarian. What what does it really mean to me to be a contrarian? It's not, you know, get long when everybody's selling, okay? Or for instance, wow, this thing's exploding to the upside, got to get short. It's the types of moves, okay, that you ultimately see. We have one, two, three, four explosive days to the upside here inside of the XHB, which is typically not a volatile product. To be very specific, the XHB has gone from 36 shot all the way almost to 38. If we go over to the trade tab now, an XHB, that's a $2 move. Okay, $2 moves happen typically in like, you know, 47 days out here. This is not an extraordinarily volatile product. Okay, but what I'm ultimately trying to do is Yes, stand in front of a freight train. This is an almost vertical move, and I don't mind standing in the way of a you know of a freight train, but in essence to do it, I'm not going to be taking an extraordinary amount of risk. What I'm actually going to do, and I actually already have done this, is I'm going to place a spread position and I'm going to do it 33 days out. Okay, and by the by the time you're probably doing this, so I'm gonna be 32 days left, but I'm looking for a, uh, and I'm going to buy a vertical. Now I want to be crystal clear about buying this vertical spread, not selling it, but I'm going to be on the buy side of a spread. I actually executed a 39.37 put spread, and I executed it, okay, last Friday for right around a dollar debit. Some of you may have seen that, some of you maybe not. I did it live inside of our chat room over there, but this is a 39.37 put spread that I'm buying for right about a buck 15. Again, I purchased it for right around a dollar. Now, you don't have to follow that particular trade, you know, verbatim. You can move it and you could change it, for instance, to a 38 and a half, 36 and a half. It's a two dollar wide put spread that you'd be buying for around a 90 cent debit. Max risk in the trade is 90 cents. OK, that's it. It is a bearish trade. What can you make on it? Well, the most you can make on a $2 wide spread is $2, of which you paid $0.90 cents up front, so you have about $1.10 that you can make on this particular spread. You don't hold the trade, though, trying to make the full $2. You want to try to make 60 to 70% okay, of the initial debit. So if you go out and buy one of these things for a buck, okay, you want to make 60 to 70%. That's 60 to $0.70. Cents. Okay. If you do it for about 90 cents, a little bit less than that, you know, just scale it down. All right. So after this thing makes me like 55, 60, or even 65 cents, exit the trade. That's it. You can even put in what's called a GTC, good till cancel, to exit the trade. I just want to make crystal clear I am buying the put spread here. There's really not enough premium for me to want to go out and sell something. And I think the, uh, the right strikes. In the here and now, this 38 and a half, 36 and a half put spread again, buying the 38 and a half, selling the 36 and a half for about a 90 cent debit. You know, just just a little bit there should do you. Um, on top of that, I'm actually going to be hosting a class uh, this Tuesday, okay? And it's uh, simpleroptions.com forward slash direction. At uh, at this particular class over here, I'm going to be talking about how to you know, pick intraday market direction, but a lot of the tools and skills that I'm going to be uh, discussing, this is not just about like intraday trade, okay? And it's this is not also, it's, it's not about, you know, uh, just being right or wrong, for instance, in markets, and people I think focus often too long, like I have to be right or I have to be wrong. It's going to be more about understanding relationships, okay, in the marketplace. Like why right now? Why do bonds matter? 
Okay, bonds have been rallying day in and day out. Why do those matter? Okay, what's the relationship between the VIX and the bonds? And are we even going to look at the VIX anymore? The volatility future is the way to go. The VIX has been as dead as dead can be. Okay, take a look these days at the volatility futures, but really the relationship and how to read the S&P futures versus the bonds, okay, versus what the dollar is doing. Much of that's actually going to be covered this Tuesday night, really talking about direction and intraday direction in the markets. Again, at simpleroptions.com forward slash direction. Thanks a lot, everybody, for joining me. I'm Don Kaufman, and you've been listening to simpleroptions.com. Bye-bye.